hopefully you guys have a pen and a sheet of paper because you're going to want to jot some really important things down because we are going to be doing some awesome stuff together. Um, and I, I thought this would be an incredible team call, especially because it's the beginning of the year. It's a brand new month. It's a brand new slate. We all are like our wheels are turning. We have some awesome stuff coming up. The health that started today, like there's a lot of new stuff going on. So, um, I thought there's no better way to start our new year off with every single one of us making mission statements and vision statements for ourselves, And maybe you have never done this before. And to be completely honest with you, I've never done this before. Um, the reason that I feel like it's so important for us to do this and for us to start doing it together is because I've been taking some business classes. Um, they're basically classes that I signed up for. It's like a part of a, <clears throat> like a monthly, um, like I pay monthly for it, but I get business classes. And so one of the classes that I went to that they, they were going to go over like a bunch of business stuff and they wanted you to have like, you know, how much money you make in a, in a week, how much money you make in a month, how much you make in a year. Like I came, I came to this business meeting with like all these numbers and all this like information and all these like uh, goals that I had written down. And the very first thing that they asked me was what is your mission statement? What is your vision statement? And I was, I felt dumb because I was like, well, I know what I want, but I don't have like a mission statement or a vision statement. And they said, before you do anything else, you have to get that. So, I thought, well, before any of us do anything else, we need to get that. And so I'm gonna teach you guys how to, how to create that um, and how to move forward with your vision and your mission statement. So um, I made just a couple slides. This is not gonna be super, um, it's gonna be detailed in the, in the fact of, of helping you to understand how to create your, your mission and your vision statement. But I want you to, I don't, I'm not gonna overcomplicate it for you guys because that's, when I started thinking about it, I started writing down things that I believe in and things that I like doing and things that I feel like our team is about and it ended up being an entire page long. And that is the first mistake in making a vision or a mission statement is your vision, your mission statement should never be long. It should be simple and to the point. So I'm going to, share my slide with you guys <clears throat> and we'll go over um first of all i have some recognition that i want to go over and then i also want to um talk about some can you guys see my slides or are you seeing something else slides okay okay slideshow okay so um so we're going to talk about the, the mission and vision statement, but we're going to talk about the difference between the two because you're going to create both. Okay. This is at the end of this. I want you to be able to have the tools to be able to create both a mission and a vision statement. First of all, I want to talk about some incredible people who have already hit success club this month and to already have points on the board. You guys, it is the 9th of January. This is crazy. So Laura Bazell Jennifer, Marissa, Marissa, Hannah, Katie, and <clears throat> Crystal all have Success Club, and it's only the ninth. You guys like feel the momentum of the fact that everybody needs help in January. Um, I think I actually, um, I I don't think the, my points are right, but we've got. Look at all those names. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve, twenty-one. <laughs> name people's names that are on the board you guys that have helped at least one person this month incredible it's only the ninth of the month that's that's what's shocking you guys every single one of us should have a a a goal to hit success club by the 15th of the month only five points only helping three people and if you can hit success club by the 15th by halfway through the month you guys can you imagine what you can do for the rest of the month? You can not, not like sit back and hang out, but I mean like 
You can focus on um, projects that you have. You can focus on helping your team. It's incredible. You guys are awesome. This is the most we've had on the board in probably four or five months. This is, this is just awesome. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and dive into mission versus vision statement. So a mission statement. Mission statement is basically why you exist. Why do you as a company, why do we as Beachbody coaches, it, it, it basically tells you why you exist, why your team exists, what is the point of, of what you do every single day. And then um, this actually, this should be a practical, tangible tool you can use um, to make, this is what you basically look back on and you know why it is that you do what you do. It has to be like something that you feel down in your bones. This is what I do. And then a vision statement is why are we here and where are we going? It is a let's look ahead, let's look five years down the road. Let's look 10 years down the road. Where are we going and where um, and what we are? Who are we? And so, a mission statement is, ba is basically a one sentence statement describing the reason or the um, a reason an organization exists. It is a one sentence statement. Can you guys believe that? A mission statement is a one sentence statement. So I was looking up different mission statements today of different companies, big time companies like Apple, GM, um, some other like well-known companies and it's really crazy to see their like timeline of their mission statements like at the beginning of GM their mission statement was like two paragraphs long and then like a couple years later like 10 years later or whatever it got a little bit shorter and it got a little bit shorter it got a little bit shorter and now it's like one sentence and it it's it's incredible how easy and how just like to the point their mission statement was. So a vision statement, let's um, move on to vision statement. A vision statement is what we are doing and where we're going. And so this is basically a one sentence statement describing the clear, inspirational, long-term change resulting from your work. So when you think of vision statement, you are thinking of where you, what you want your product to have done in five years. So let's think about the women that we help today. Where do we want them to be in five years? That's, that's what we're looking at when we talk about vision statement. Okay, so let's talk about why, why do we make statements like this? Well, first of all, the reason that we make statements like this, the first reason is for it's, for it's for your customers. It's for your people that you help every single day to understand why it is that you're helping them, to understand why it is that you're doing what you're doing. So first of all, it's for your customers. The second reason that you have these statements is for your team. Your team wants to feel like they are a part of something bigger. And so these statements are to help them remember why it is that they're getting up early, that they're staying up late, that they're helping so many people, that they're, that they're you know, looking to find freedom and help other women get healthy in their fitness journey. So it's for your team. It's, it's for them to look on and remember, okay, if this, whatever's going on, does not align with what my mission and my vision statement is, then it's not a priority to me. So it's also for your team. Third, though, the biggest reason is it's for you because it helps you not to get sidetracked and not to get distracted. When you look at your vision and your mission statement, it should fuel your fire, not make you feel defeated. If you don't have a vision and a mission statement, it's very easy for you to look around at the people beside you and see their success and feel defeated. But if you focus on what you're doing with your mission statement, with your vision statement, then you will, your blinders will stay on and you'll be able to focus on what it is that you're doing without looking around you. So, um, 
So it also keeps us from looking at our competition and it brings our focus back. So if, if you're gonna pick one to do first, you must do your mission statement first. If you're gonna choose between mission and vision, your mission statement has to come first because that is basically why you exist. Why do you exist? And then that, that's where your priorities come from is why you exist. And then you can think about your, mission, your vision statement. Your vision statement is what you want down the road. Your mission statement is what you, is what you the reason that you exist. And that's not gonna change. Your, your mission statement is not gonna change. Your vision statement might change. Your, the, when you start, when your team starts getting bigger and you start having bigger dreams and you start branching out and having all these different things that you're doing with your, with your um, team and, and, and other ways to, to help them, your vision statement might change some but your mission statement will never change. So <clears throat> let's go through what your mission statement needs to have. Okay, first of all, we are not gonna overcomplicate this. It's not a blog. We're not writing a paper. It's not a book. We are writing, we, are, we want to bring everything that, are, that we do into one sentence. So first of all, it needs to be clear and simple. When people start using these huge, humongous words that you need to grab a dictionary to uh, look up because you don't have a clue what they're talking about, then you've lost people. They're not going to be able to follow that. They're not going to be able to understand what your, what your mission statement is. It needs to also... Avoid elaborate language and buzzwords. What does that mean? What is buzzwords? Buzzwords are like words that only your company understands. For instance, challenge pack. You guys know in Beach Body Language what challenge pack means. Somebody who is has just recently friend requested you and is brand new on your page, if you say the word challenge pack, they're not gonna have a clue what you're talking about. That's what a buzzword is. A buzzword is something that only you and maybe your team know about. So you don't want to have crazy language and you don't want to have these cliche words in there that nobody, that nobody else understands. Okay, so it also needs to be easily explained to others. So it should pretty much be self-explanatory is, is what it's saying. And you guys, I'm going to give you examples of these um, in just a second. So you're probably like, okay, let me have some examples. I've got some good examples. Um, it also does not need to be confused with the vision statement. So your vision statement and your mission statement, they, they have the same heartbeat, but they're not the same. And the last thing is, it needs to be recognizably yours. So if you were to say this to your team or say this to your spouse or say this to your best friend, they need to understand that these words are coming from you. So those are really, really important with a mission statement. Okay, so let me break this down. I did not do a slide for this, but I want you to listen carefully. This is how, <clears throat> so you wanna find about one to five words for each of these different questions that I'm gonna ask you. So here's the first question when we're coming up with our mission statement, here's the first question. What type of entity or program do you have? So we're coaches. So that's, that's I'm basically gonna answer that for you. What are we? Um, are you a nonprofit? Are you a volunteer program? Are you a business? Are you an event? What are you? So that's the first one. Um, the second thing is why do you exist? So what problems are out there that us as coaches are trying to help? that us as coaches are trying to reach? Well, it's obviously obesity. It is people on medication. It is moms who feel like they've lost their way and they need help kind of getting back on the wagon, feeling like there's more to life than just the ins and outs of being a mom and always being needed. Um, so that's question number two. Why do you exist? So the first question is what, what do you do? We're coaches. Why do you exist? What problems are out there that you're trying to fix? What's the broadest way to describe your work? The broadest way to describe your work. So for instance, 
if you were a water company, you would say we provide clean drinking water. So a broad um, way to describe your work. The fourth question that you wanna ask when you're trying to get your mission statement is from whom do you do this work? So who do you do this work for? So for me personally, my niche market is moms. Who are you helping? And then the last question that you wanna ask yourself when you're trying to figure out your mission statement is where do you work? So what type <clears throat> in developing countries like geographical boundaries, where, like where do you actually work? Like, who are you helping? In what type of um, background are you helping? Those types, of, those types of people. So let me give you a couple of examples. These are, when I Google this, a lot of this stuff is coming from information that I found um, online from a nonprofit, but it's also from my business um, class that I've been taking. But this actually was, when I Googled it, I found the top nonprofit mission statement example. So there was probably like 50 of them, and I just took like the first six or whatever. So if you notice, there's some of these have two words. Some of these have six words. Everything is short. So Ted, do you guys know um, Simon Sinek? There's like a YouTube channel. It's called Ted and Simon Sinek does a lot of stuff on there. It's basically what he does is spreading ideas that there's like no perfect other words than spreading ideas for what Ted is. Um, and if you Google or if you go to YouTube and you type in Ted, you're going to find a million videos that pop up. It's incredibly inspiring and um, it helps you with ideas. Okay, so the Humane Society, celebrating am animals, confronting cruelty. Four words, super simple. You know what they do. There's no question in your mind. Smithsonian, the increase and diffusion of knowledge. Awesome. Wounded Warrior Project, to honor and empower wounded warriors. I love that. You, you don't have to ask what they do. Best Friends Animal Society, a better world through kindness to animals. And live strong, live strong. We all know what that is, um, even when I just say the word. It means to inspire and empower people affected by cancer. Awesome. Those are perfect. That's what you're looking to do. These are mission statements. What do you live for? What do you represent? What do you, why is it that you exist? These are awesome. So keep those um, handy when you're going to write yours. Okay. So now we're going to flip over to vision statement. And this is all about where you're going. This is about you want to you want to have an aerial view like a five or thirty thousand foot view you want to see the vision for your team you want to um what would you like your clients to achieve in five years okay so this one needs to be clear and, and um clear and simple so same thing don't use elaborate words um avoid s uh, words that are super confusing or people don't understand um, same thing about buzzwords. You don't want to use that in here either. It needs to easily be explained to others and it does not need to be confused with your mission statement. Remember, these are separate. And <clears throat> these are the questions that you need to consider. So we've got five questions that you need to consider when you're starting to write your vision statement. So I'm going to go over those um, really quickly. So for your vision statement, remember this is five years down the road. What needs to be changed? What are the major issues or problems? What do you do? What does your team provide that helps people? And what are they helping them for? What's their problem? And number two, why? should issues be addressed. So what are their costs to be involved? <clears throat> so why should issues, why should their issue be addressed? Well, people are dying because they are overweight. They're on too many medications. There's too many people that have high blood pressure and the list goes on and on. So I can kind of um, answer that one for you. What are the strengths and assets? That's number three. What are the strengths and assets? So what do you 
What is your strength, your team? What is y'all's strength in your asset? Both of the um, organization slash program and those being served. So you want to think about what you do well. What is it that you are providing for people um, that is just incredible? And then number four, what is your dream end state? That's awesome. Like if, if in a perfect world, what would this look like? If, if you fulfilled your purpose through your vision statement, what would the world look like? It would be a better place because why? And then the last thing is, what would success look like? And that's specifically for your particular um, project or organization is what they said. So what would success look like? So remember, this is also like one sentence. It's, it's not super long. So I know there's a like, you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to make this into one sentence? You're going to be able to do it. I promise. Um, so I love the vision statement for, I can't remember what the name of it, of the company was, but the vision statement, I love this. Listen to this. The vision statement for one of these companies, one of these nonprofit companies was no child in our city will go hungry to bed in the evening. You know exactly what they do. That is their heartbeat right there. Um, uh, Hands-on networks vision is that one day every person will discover his or her power to make a difference. So let me give you some more examples. So Oxfam, I don't even know what that is, but these were the top non-profit vis profit vision statement examples. A just world without poverty. Well, that tells you exactly what that is. Very short, to the point. And, and do you see how it is a vision statement? It's, it's saying a just world without poverty. So it goes back to, okay, what is your dream end state? That's what you're looking at. And that's what that means. Feeding America, a hunger-free America. Perfect. Awesome. Human rights campaign, equality for everyone. National Multiple Sclerosis Society, a world free of MS. Alzheimer's Association, our vision is a world without Alzheimer's. I mean, do you see how the, all of this is, okay, in a perfect world, what would it look like? Um, Habitat for Humanity, a world where everyone has a decent place to live. I love it. These are amazing. And you know, it, and you don't question at all what their, what their heartbeat is, what their dream is, what their vision is. Um, it's absolutely awesome. Okay, so um, I also, one of my mentors, she told me, um, she gave me an example. She actually happens to be a beach body coach. She gave me an example of what her mission statement was. So she's a beach body coach. She's also a Christ follower. She's a Christian. And I loved her mission statement. And I wanted to give it to I wanted you guys to be able to write it down if you wanted to, because it is from, it's from a coach. So you can kind of see what her, this is um, her, this is her mission statement. So we just finished talking about vision statement. This is her mission statement. So remember, that's the one that you're going to focus on first. You're going to focus on your personal mission statement. So hers was, and I loved it, sharing Jesus with others through every gift, talent, opportunity God has given me and helping other women to do the same. Perfect. That's awesome. Like that's super inspiring. I love that one. Um, and then there was another one. Let's see. I'm trying to look. I think there was another example I had. Um, oh, another mission statement. I'm sorry. The one that I just read you, the one that I just read you right there, that was her um, vision statement. So sharing Jesus with others through every gift, talent, opportunity God has given me and helping other women do the same. Here's another mission statement. Um, her personal mission statement was to help as many people as I can without expecting anything in return. That's her personal mission statement. That's why, that's her passion. That's why she exists, is to help as many people as she can 
without expecting anything in return. So those are um, example of, of kind of coach related ones. Um, but this week, this is what I want you guys to do in the um, season of new beginnings and um, just vision boards, which I don't know if you guys are doing Lindsay Matway's vision board class right now. It's absolutely incredible. I've learned so much. Um, and she's given me some amazing tips on creating a vision board for myself. Um, and I, and so I hope you're in there. If you're not in there, she's doing a, she, it's just an awesome, I've learned so much about, um, what our goals should be and goals that we should not be setting. Um, and if you're not in there, just let me know and I can put you in there. But this is your call to action. So I want you to use this week to create your vision and your mission statement. So I want you to, first of all, you're going to create your mission statement first. And then I want you to sit down and create your, um, your vision statement. Uh, mission statement should always go first. And you should do that. That is something personal. So you need to do that alone or with your spouse. So I know, for instance, I... My husband, our heartbeats are the same. So I want him to be in, in line and in tune with my mission statement because I know that he'll be able to help me really articulate what I'm trying to say. He's kind of like the brains behind my mind. I, I like say something that doesn't make any sense and he kind of like puts it together for me. So maybe you can do it by yourself or you can grab your spouse or your best friend or your mom or somebody that you feel like really knows you and you guys can come up with it. And then the last thing is your vision statement needs to be done with your team. If you have, if you don't have a team, don't worry about that. If you don't have a team, you just grab somebody that's close to you that can help you do this. Or maybe just sit there and think about it for a while. But your vision statement is, is what you as your, your team, you guys are trying to conquer together. And so I remember a couple weeks ago, I got my leaders together. We, we meet every Tuesday at 12 o'clock or one o'clock or whatever time it was. And we sat there and we wrote out everything that we are about. It was awesome. At the end, we had like, I don't know, a really long paragraph. So I'm going to go through that um, from what, you know, people from my team were, were giving me to put together for our mission statement. I mean, our vision statement. But if you don't have a team, do, still do this. If you have a team, you want to get their input. You want it to be something that they feel like they have contributed as well. So if you don't have a team, grab some people that are close to you and just and, and make up your vision statement. Um, and remember, your vision statement can change. Your mission statement doesn't change. That's why you exist. Your vision statement can change. So do the best that you can to create a vision statement. And I can guarantee you guys, when people know where you're going and what you're doing and what your passion is and what you were created for, they're going to want to get on board. And I feel like this, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I feel like this is what's going to help you guys to move your business forward <coughs> and to remember and to, and to have right in front of your face for when things get hard and you get super discouraged and you, you know, you're getting a thousand no's and you're, frustrated and you feel like you're working your tail off and nothing's being and nothing's paying off you, th those statements is what keeps you going you guys those statements the reason that you exist and the reason that you're a coach and those are what's going to keep you in the trenches and so i hope every one of you guys will really take the time to sit and think about this and i hope that you're going to share it with us because i want to know what your vision and your mission statement is and I want to see where you have it in your office or where you have it in your bathroom, um, where you can look at it all the time. And it, it should be such an incredible honor to have ownership of your business. This is not my mission statement for you. This is not somebody else's mission statement for you. This is not your employee or your boss or your work's mission statement. You know, your, wherever you work at has a mission statement. I don't even know if you know that, but they, they have... They probably have like something that states what they do and you kind of have to just go, go with that. You need, this is you, you have decided this, this is your team. This is where you're going. This is what you're going to um, instill in all of your coaches hearts. So 
take this seriously, you guys, and really think about it. And I hope you share it with your upline coach and I hope you share it with your team. Um, and I hope you share it with all of us. I hope you put it, I hope every one of you guys put it um, in our team page that we're, so that we're able to look at it. And I'm working on mine too. I'm such a perfectionist. It's taken me a really long time um, to narrow down exactly what I want to say. But as soon as I'm done, you guys are going to know what my mission statement is, what our vision, my vision statement is for our team. And so um, that's what I wanted to uh, give to you guys. Now, this is totally off subject, but has anybody made their dream board or their vision board or their um, goal board for this year? Has anybody made theirs? Not yet. I know. I'm slacking too. Usually I have mine done by like mid-December. Um, I wanted to give you guys a tip that I heard today from Lindsay who was telling me about her dream board. And, you know, I was looking back at my dream boards from years past because I have them. I did them on PicMonkey and I would print them out and, you know, put them on right here in front of my face and I would see them all the time. But you're writing up your dream board and this goes along with what we're doing tonight um, because you want to have you want to have like a, a board where, or, you know, where you're looking at what your goals are. You want to make sure that your goals that you have set for yourself are not ones that um, anybody else can do for you. They have to be ones that you have the ability to do. So for instance, you don't want to say, <clears throat> well, I want to be five star by, you know, the end of the month or whatever because that's not in your power. You can push your coaches as much as you want to, but unless they want it and unless they do it for themselves, um, that can't happen. So there's going to be some things that, um, so, some little tidbits that I'm going to learn along the way as far as vision board goes, but I want you guys to all think about that as well. Um, and you know, I remember last year, two years ago on my vision board, I wanted to become insanity certified. That's 100% in my power. I can, I can become insanity certified. And I did. And then the next year I became size certified. That's in my power. And then I wanted to become a success club all-star. Guess what? That's in my power to, um, to be a 10 star or, or elite or all that kind of stuff. It's somewhat in my power because I have the ability to look at my numbers, but those stars, are not in my power. Those people have to want it for themselves. So when you're doing a dream, a vision board or a dream board, um, Oprah Winfrey's got a really awesome like template that you can use. If you go to OprahWinfrey.com or you even Google it, Google Oprah Winfrey dream board um, or vision board. I don't know what she calls it, but she'll show you exactly how to do it. Um, but remember that when you're thinking about goals for yourself, make sure it's something that is 100% controllable for you. You can control it. Nobody else can control it. So, okay. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys, that was 33 minutes. That was long. I was a lot of talking. Sorry. I could talk all day. I was like, God help me. Please not go an hour. That's why I only had like five slides. Does anybody have anything that they want to say or have a question about anything that I said or they need me to explain anything else? Look at this team call, you guys. Holy cow. This is awesome. This is incredible. Did anybody listen to the National Wake Up Call today with Melanie Mitro? It was awesome. It was awesome. She is so inspiring. You guys, if you um, want to go back and listen to the recording, the line is in your back office. And keep that number in your phone. So if, you know, you're driving down the road or whatever, you can just play the playback line and put it on speakerphone or whatever. It was incredible. She's just um, super inspiring. Number one, the number one coach in the network for the third year in a row, I think. It's pretty awesome. Okay, well, if nobody has any questions, I'm gonna let y'all get out of here. But um, let's see, I did record this for anybody who needs